All right, guys, welcome back to another Kyle for a Wild video or fishing the Florida Gulf Coast. You guys already know it. Now, in this video, we're going to be doing the six non fishing essential items that you need whenever you're going surf fishing or beach fishing. Now, a lot of these may be, you know, kind of common sense. You know, you make a lot of people that go surf fishing a lot may be like, well, duh. But there's a lot of people out there that don't really have like an idea of the tap or the stuff that you need while you're going surf fishing. So, I'm going to be making a short little video of the six most important items that you need whether it be for you know pompano redfish black drum you know if you're up in the northeast stripers there's a lot of things that you need whenever you're going surf fishing so let's go ahead and get into some of these items now if you guys are new here make sure to subscribe i post surf fishing videos here on the florida gulf coast uh, just about every other week so make sure to subscribe uh, hit that like button if you guys enjoy the video and uh, let's go ahead and get into the video enough jibber jabbering so yeah, each one of these items is going to be phenomenal for you to have whenever you're going surf fishing. If you've been surf fishing before, you probably know about a lot of these, but if you're new to it, stick around because I'm going to show you guys some of these items that you need while you're going surf fishing or beach fishing. They will help you out tremendously. Anyways, enough jibber jabbering. So number one, the number one thing that you're going to want to do whenever you're going surf fishing is by far bring some sunscreen. Don't be dumb and go out there and think that you're all right. I promise you, I don't want any of you guys getting hurt or getting uh, skin cancer. Don't underestimate the power of the sun. You know, I promise you, I've seen people, I've heard of people in my area that go surf fishing a lot and some of them haven't even been surf fishing for like a while they've only been you know going surf fishing for a couple years and they've, they've already got skin cancer on their nose their back their neck so wear sunscreen don't underestimate the power of the sun protect yourselves come on guys it's really simple just do it yeah so make sure to wear your sunscreen just don't be this guy that's a little too much make sure to rub it in a little bit <laughs> All right, so with number one being sunscreen, let's go ahead and get into number two. Number two is definitely going to be sunglasses. <laughs> you know, it never it never ceases to amaze me that I still go out surf fishing and I see people not wearing sunglasses whenever they're uh, they're whenever they're fishing on the beach. And let me go ahead and tell you. Um, Fishing on the beach is not like fishing on the boat, you know. I'm telling you right now, if you get on a beach with white sand and don't wear sunglasses, it's going to be probably like four to five times brighter than it would be if you're in a boat because the sand at least here in pensacola florida we have some of the whitest beaches in the whole entire country and whatever the sun whenever you're out on the beach on a hot summer day or a spring day or even a winter day whenever you have the sun out above you and it's shining down and it's reflecting off that white sand that sand almost becomes brighter than the water itself like i'm not kidding so make sure to bring some sunglasses with you otherwise you're going to end up looking like this guy from all the frowning that you're gonna be doing. So protect your eyes. You don't want any frowns on your face the whole time you're fishing. You know, just save yourself some um, effort and just put on a pair of sunglasses. You don't gotta you don't gotta have an expensive pair. Yeah, you don't need an expensive pair, just get you a 10 to 15 dollar polarized pair from the gas station. And yeah, save yourself some hassle so you don't have to frown the whole time that you're fishing. So yeah, make sure to wear your sunglasses, but get a better pair than I had. Yeah, that's what happens whenever you put your glasses on top of your hat and then you forget that you have your glasses on top of your hat. You take your hat off and your glasses fall off and $240 goes down the drain. But I'm going to send them back. These are Costas. You don't have to have as an expensive pair as I do. But yeah, get you a pair that's better than that. <laughs> All right, so with number two being sunglasses, let's go ahead and get into number three. Now, a lot of these don't really have anything to do with fishing, but they're just going to help you out while you're surf fishing on the beach. I promise you. So number three is going to be wear a hat. You know, a lot of this is a lot of these items so far are just have to do with the sun. But I'm telling you right now, you guys will thank me later. They will make your experience way, way better. I promise you. So get a hat. You know, I actually just got this ridiculous looking hat right here. Let me go ahead and show you guys. Oh, yeah. So this is my hat right here, you know, it may seem kind of over the top, you know, but um, I'm not going to lie. This is the best hat that I've had when it comes to surf fishing. You know, this thing right here, I put this on and it keeps the it keeps the sun off my face and off my back whenever I take my shirt off. Keeps the sun off of me and it just helps me out all day. So, you know, you can obviously wear just like a, like a baseball cap, like a trucker's hat. You don't have to get like a big straw hat like I have. 
but these are phenomenal i think this one was like 30 dollars on amazon and uh yeah it's just it's phenomenal it's very light you know it's really really flimsy and you just put this on and it keeps the sun off you all day long so definitely recommend a hat like i said either get a straw hat or just get like a regular you know baseball cap you know 10 15 20 dollars and keep the sun off you all right so let's go ahead and get into number four number four is going to be this may seem really obvious but there's still some people out there that don't like to spend money and upgrade but guys go ahead and get yourself a beach cart you know beach cart i promise you it's gonna make your experience so much easier you know whenever i started surf fishing i didn't i didn't have a beach cart so i actually just carried all my stuff down to the beach with me from my vehicle and i tell you you know i regret it i thought all this time i was saving money and being smart and you know i'm like oh i'm not spending 200 dollars on a beach cart but just go ahead and get you a beach cart you know they're not that expensive they're like maybe like 150 dollars I know it may seem like a lot, but like they save you so much time and energy. You don't have to take multiple trips back from your truck and they just make your experience so much better. So just get you a beach cart. They're not that expensive and they go a long way. You can also use them for pier fishing too, if you, if you do a lot of pier fishing. So go ahead and get you a pier cart. I think I use the fishing mate, the big fishing mate one. Uh, I'll link it in the description if you guys want to check it out, but that's the one I use. I don't have the balloon tires, but still works great. All right, number five. Let's go. All right, let's go ahead and get into number five number five is going to be a sand spike now for those of you that don't know i'm sure most of you guys do know what a sand spike is but a sand spike is a whether it be a pvc pipe or a galvanized um aluminum tubing that you stick in the sand that you put your rods in while you're surf fishing from the beach so that way you can use multiple rods put them in the sand spikes and just sit back and relax and wait for a bite now some people don't know what a sand spike is so for those of you that don't it's basically just a two inch or a one and a half inch uh, pvc pipe you can get them at home depot now let me go ahead and say this so let me go ahead and say this i do not recommend getting your pvc pipe sand spikes from the bait shops and let me tell you why the pvc that they use at bait shops the, I'm, I'm talking about just the pvc pipe uh sand spikes there's some at the bait shops that that's a piece of pvc with a piece of aluminum siding on it i'm not talking about those because those are fun I'm talking about just the PVC pipes, sand spikes that you buy from a bait shop. Do not get those. Um, at least around here in Pensacola, the, every single bait shop that I've bought my sand spikes from that are PVC pipes, it's really thin PVC and about five or six trips of using them, they actually bend. Whenever you push them in the sand, they actually bend and they're just not really high quality PVC. So, so just go to your Home Depot. They sell 12 foot sections of PVC. Um, I think I actually use one and a half and two inch. So just go to your Home Depot, buy you a 12 foot section and just get a saw and just, you make five pieces, five sand spikes right there. So it's $8 and you make five of them. I think they're $8 a piece at a bait shop. And those things don't even last you. They're really thin and they're just cheap materials. So. Go to your Home Depot. If you guys want me to make a video on how to make those, it's really simple. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. You just go to the, the Home Depot or Lowe's, any hardware store, buy PVC, and then cut it. But um, if you guys want to see a tutorial on how to make them, uh, let me know in the comment section. I'll show you guys how to. But like I said, it's kind of self-explanatory, but I can show you if you guys want me to. So, so yeah, let me know in the comment section. And if enough of you guys say, yeah, you want me to, then yeah, I'll gladly show you guys how to make a PVC sand spike. <laughs> so number six, let's go ahead and get into number six. Number six is going to be a rubber mallet or a rubber hammer it kind of looks like a rubber hammer but it's it's a rubber mallet and what this is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to just simply put your sand spike in the sand and just hammer it in right away rather than just exerting so much energy and, and just useless time trying to really dig it in the sand um just get you a rubber mallet guys they're like five dollars at home depot and honestly it takes about 10 seconds for you to hammer a sand spike in the ground and it works phenomenal like these things hammer the sand spikes in so far that you don't even have to worry about them anymore um they just they go a long way it's a really simple item to have it's like five dollars and it just makes the world a difference you know some of the fish in the surf can be really big you know you can catch a big black drum some big red fish even some big sharks it, i've even heard of dolphins and porpoises actually getting bait too so get you a, a rubber mallet so you can really hammer those sand spikes in the ground and it just goes a long way i'm telling you it just goes a long way and it really helps you out a lot and like i said it's only five dollars so get you one. 
So yeah, guys, that is the six non-fishing most essential items that I can recommend to each and every one of you. I know they were really simple and a lot of you guys probably already know about these things, but there's a lot of people out there that really don't. So I hope that if you're one of those people, you really took some advice from this video and it really helped you out. If you guys do enjoy, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like. And like I said, I do surf fishing videos here on the Florida Gulf Coast all the time. So if you guys are new here, make sure to check out these videos. I'll put one here and also make sure to subscribe i'll put a little button right here so you guys can click that and subscribe thank you guys all so much for tuning in until next time i'll see you guys in the future videos peace out